Hey gang, Melissa here, and here it is finally, the Chicago haul, uh, my makeup purchases from the fun weekend in Chicago that I had with the other YouTube ladies. And uh, as I was going through the purchases getting ready for this video, <laughs> I, apparently it escaped my brain how much I actually purchased. So there's no way it's all going to be able to fit in one video. It'll be too long, it, it's just, it's too much, and I really just don't want the judgment uh, from my mother. So, um, I'm going to split it up in two videos, and then maybe I'll feel better about what I spent, and um, she'll be a little clueless about it. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to split it up in two videos, and uh, this is the first half of it. So I'm just going to get started, because I feel like this is even a so lot. So I'll first start off with the little goodies that um, we got from the girls at the hotel. When we all got there, we met up so we could actually say hello in person, and we had some cocktails, which was very nice and, and relaxing, and um, several of the girls had gifts for us. And of course, I just was there like, hmm, because I didn't bring anything. And so I was like, hmm, awkward. But uh, Liz, you didn't either. Uh, Liz from EP3074. So yeah, yeah, I dimed you out. How about that? Because I didn't want to feel alone. <laughs> Sorry. But she didn't either, okay? Anyway, so uh, Vanessa from Lipstick Vanessa, she gave us these little boxes, jewelry boxes, and inside I had these. And um, they are turquoise earrings with gold around them, and they're just, they're very, very pretty. And I don't have anything like this, and obviously with the coral and the turquoise being so hot and going so well together, I thought these were excellent. Loved them very much. I actually wore them the rest of that day that we were there. So that was very nice of her. Thank you, Kristen Vanessa. Game from Kristen Game. She had made a ton of homemade goodies. She made a big thing of trail mix and a big bag of peanut butter cookies and chocolate chip cookies and holy cow. Uh, I, how did I get roped into that? Hmm. Um, I ended up taking over the leftover cookies home and uh, they, there's no, obviously no more left. They didn't last very long, very much more longer than the car ride home, maybe. I, I needed energy. I needed energy to get home in that drive. I don't know. And then Miss Kristen from Miss Kristen 321 had a cute little package with some hand lotion. And this is Wild Citrus Sunflower. And also a bottle of nail polish. And this one from China Glaze. And this one is called Smoke and Ashes. And it's awesome. It's green, glittery, but I see some blue in it too. And I own nothing like this. Nothing at all. So I'm pretty excited about this, especially with fall coming up. I like it very much. Shannon, or Shanny Banny, she uh, had a little bag and with some goodies in it. Uh, she had asked everybody what their favorite little snacky treat is, and uh, I'm an Oreo girl, so I love me some Oreos, and there was a bag of Oreos in there, and she also had made these really cute friendship bracelets for everybody with uh, different colors for everybody, and she had asked everyone in advance what their favorite colors were, and of course, pink and chocolate brown. Don't care if you hate it. Love it. So there's that. And she also made these awesome wine glasses. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that. That's my size wine glass. It's huge. Love it. Um, and my nasty little fingerprints and are all over it. Um, but it says Chicago and has a pair of lips painted on it. And 2012. So the stem has glitter on it too. So uh, I had several beverages from this baby in Chicago. And this will also be the new cocktails and mouth glass. So love it and much use is All right, coming so out of it. so on to the makeup. Um, we had stopped at Sephora one morning and several ladies made purchases in there, but uh, I decided to wait until Nordstrom and Macy's and, you know, places that I actually had uh, available room on credit cards. I don't know. Uh, but I did get some samples while we were there. I finally got the sample of the Benefit Hello Flawless. And uh, so take that, Benefit Girl. Hmm. Uh, yeah, finally. So excited about that. And while I was there, the lady, she asked me if I had ever tried the Dior BB Cream, which I had not. So she gave me a sample of that. Also excited about that. And then the national representative for Sephora for Dior was there. Um, did that make sense? I don't know. He is the one that goes to all of the Sephoras and represents Dior. And uh, he had his own little pamphlet, super nice guy. And um, so he gave me some Dior 
mascaras and I did tell him how I felt about the original Dior show mascara so of course he had to do a demo on himself but I made him try my Jordana mascara and uh, so he gave it a shot and uh, the Dior came out better on him than it came out on me so but I did admit that it looked nice on him but um, he gave me some samples of their other mascaras the iconic show the Dior Ecstase? Ecstase? Mm. And then the Dior Show New Look. New Look. So, uh, I'll give these a shot. I hated the original Dior Show, but, uh, you know, they're free. I'm gonna try them. Alright, so, okay. Well, that's it for samples. Uh, the only, I guess, well, not only, because I got some Lush stuffs too, but uh, non-makeup related, but I thought were really cute, were these MEJ these little hair bands. They're fabric and then uh, they have the little tie in the back and they're elastic but I got the little silver and gray and sparkly ones and then some bright jewel tone colors and some nudes. And uh, my nails here real quick. If you didn't watch my other video, um, I, I deep cleaned and I used really harsh stuff on my hands and it ate them alive. So I'm in a rebuilding phase right now. So that's what's going on there. Okay, so Lush. All right. I had never even heard of Lush until getting on YouTube about a year ago. And then I would hear Lush referenced and then I still didn't really know and then I figured it out because I actually watched, the, I actually searched some Lush videos and watched and I was like, oh, okay. But I had never before this trip even tried a Lush product. So I was curious about that. I did pick up a few things that were pretty highly recommended. Um, so the first one is this bubble bar. That's apparently what it's called. And it smells delicious. It smells sweet and, uh, and good. I, I'm horrible with fragrances, but you're supposed to just break off a piece, a chunk of it in your bath and crumple it up really good. And then it creates a bubble bath and it also is supposed to uh, make your skin very soft and and moist. So I picked up two of these. I have used one of them once. I mean, a piece of one of them once. And I, I really liked it. I liked the smell. It wasn't too strong. And my skin did feel softer than just a normal bath. So I can definitely see repurchasing this. And the lady said that you get about six baths out of this. But I asked Kristen, uh, Kristen Game, and she said maybe about three. But uh, I don't know. So I, I feel like I might get about four out of it. And I've got a pretty big tub. So we'll see. Uh, the next thing that I picked up was the, apparently this is a hot seller, the Ocean Salt. It is the face and body scrub. And some say that it's a little bit too harsh for the face. But it's better for the body. And this just smells real clean and very nice. And uh, <laughs> again, not very descriptive with that. But uh, I haven't tried this yet. And I picked up the lip scrub, the bubblegum lip scrub, because I was needing one. And this you can put on. It, it does, this smells, this smells like bubblegum. It does. Candy and bubblegum. And it's sugary. And so you put it on and scrub and then you can eat it. So uh, I'm all for anything you can eat. Delicious. And last thing that I picked up, I wish I didn't. It's called Lip Service Lip Balm. And this was an impulse buy at the register. And I totally got suckered in. But she's like, this is great. You put it on at night. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like the way it smells. And it's so dry. It, it's so dry. Like, if you see the indentation marks, I have had to scrape it out and then smooth it on. So I will not be purchasing this again. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to finish this. I just, I really don't like it. So that was it from Lush. From Macy's. We had gone to Macy's the night that we got in. <laughs> After having cocktails, we were like, hey, this is great. Let's go to Macy's. And I've been wanting to go to Macy's because I knew they had an Inglot counter. So they don't have all of the Inglot colors, but they had a counter there with a bunch of the colors. So we went there and I was like, okay, I, I've been dying to get a little bit of Inglot. And I, much like what happens to me when I go into Mac, I, I feel like my head just exploded. There's so many choices, so many options, you know, sheen, satin, this, that, and it's just like, ah! So I ended up, um, I ended up asking Kristen to, I'm like, please just pick me out a three pan palette that you think will look nice with blue eyes because I, I, I'm just not going to be able to do it. Um, it was just, it was too overwhelming. It was too many options. 
So, uh, and I, I don't know which color is which. I will put them, when I edit the video, I'll put the exact color under the color that I'm showing at the time. So, I just got a three pan, just to start off with. Uh, I wanted to ease into it slowly, but that's what the three pan looks like, and it slides. So, I will swatch it for you. And again, the color will be on the bottom of the screen. So, it's a pretty rusty, coppery color. And it's got some sparkly to it. Not sparkly, shimmer, I guess. Sorry, not sparkle, but shimmer. And then the next color is right here. It's the brown. And that's a matte color. thought that was very pretty. And it, and it looks like it does have a little bit, just, just a tinge of maybe red in there. A tinge. And then the highlight color. Which is also matte. So, I guess I could have done them in a row, but I didn't. But those are the three colors, and I, I haven't worn them on my face yet, but I like them. I think they're very pretty, and I think I will get some good use out of this. I really do. So, thanks, Kristen. Good picks. And uh, that was it for Minglot. That was it, because I knew there was other things and other places to, that so I wanted. So, after Inglot, um, while still at Macy's, we went over to the Chanel counter. And I have a Chanel blush and a Chanel nail polish, and there were some other items that I wanted to try out, especially the Illusion d'Ombre. So I picked up two of those, and there's the box. And the color, I ended up getting color 86. And I'm not going to pronounce it, but I will list everything below that I'm showing and in the order I show it so that you don't have to stop and go back. But that's that. Uh, there's that, and I will swatch it for you. right there and it's another coppery color I mean it's not obviously the same as that but it's along those lines in that family and it might I feel like it's got a little bit of plum in it like a coppery plum so very pretty and it does have some shimmer in it which I do like for the lid all right so, now that yeah. I found the other one uh, the other one is number 82 and that's the name of that one and I will swatch it too and it is, it is a brighter coppery color. <laughs> now this one's more champagne than uh, copper, right there. It's a pretty champagne-y, highlight, nudie, shimmery color. So, uh, and I think these, the two of them will look beautiful together. So together and with a bunch of other stuff. And last but not least from Chanel, I got two samples. I got a sample of another one of the Illusion d'Ombres, and I'm not even going to take it out because it's, as you can see, it's real crumbly, but this is like the purpley color. Um, I'll look it up and put it on there anyway and list what it is. And I think one of the other girls may have gotten this actual color. Maybe Shani did. I might be wrong, but I might be right. And then she also gave me a sample of the um, Coco Noir. So, uh, yeah, that's a good size sample. It's got a little spray spray thing on it. So, all right. I did well at uh, Chanel, too. Uh, I also went to Armani, and... If you've watched my previous videos, you know that the Armani corrector, the master corrector, is holy grail for me. I have tried numerous products, and for me, I feel like it it covers my dark circles the best. So I never was matched to my color. I actually just picked it out online and picked it out based on opinions from other videos. So I was curious to see what they would match me to. So I went over there, and she actually ended up matching me to number one which is the pink and I use the orange right now but she ended up saying that this was better and it was more brightening but and I know in the other some of the other girls were there when I got matched and they're like yeah I think number one I'm telling you ladies since I've gotten home and played with both of these again it's going back I'm getting another one of the number two because I, I do it side by side and even though this looks brighter it still shows the dark circles through. So I'd rather use the corrector to smash the dark circles and then use my concealer to brighten it. Um, so yeah, I did get, but anyway, I did get an Armani Master Corrector, but it's the wrong color. It's going back. I'm gonna just gonna exchange it for the right one. And uh, I ended up also getting a sample bag with a ton of goodies. 
I'm not going to go through this individually because I, I went through this individually on my giveaway video and I'll link that video. Um, I'll link it up here somewhere. But uh, yeah, this was very nice. I ended up with three of these, okay? Three. Because they were like, oh, you keep spending money here, so we're just going to keep giving you free stuff. I was like, oh, great. So, uh, but I'm glad, but I was just like, oh, spending too much. Um, uh, or charging too much. Charging too much. And then Mac. For this video, last will be Mac. Um, uh, again, I go into Mac and... It, my brain explodes because it's just like, oh, especially with lipsticks and sheen and cream and this and that. And, and it's just, it's too much. It's too much. I feel like I'm not, I feel like I need a tour guide. And, and Shani Banny was amazing about, you know, guiding us through there. And um, Kristen helped me pick out some stuff too. So I had never even heard of this before. But Shannon came over and was like, hey, you need to look at this. And, and I felt it and I was like, oh, I, I need that. I need it. It is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Smoother Base Visage. Visage? 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 I don't know. It doesn't matter. And uh, it's basically a compact primer. I will show it to you if I can get it open. There it is. And it's just, it's got that silicone feel to it. You know, I don't know why I'm swatching it. I don't think you're going to, it's clear. I don't know why I'm swatching it. But it's got that silicone feel to it. And Shannon just really says that she loves it because she feels like it really smooths out any lineage, but she doesn't really have any, so I'm not really certain that I should have taken her advice on it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I haven't played around with this enough yet, but I, I like it so far. I do, and uh, so we'll see. Uh, next, I got... I, my brush collection is sad. It's a, it's a very sad and weepy brush collection. So I was wanting to try and get some nice brushes but I don't want to spend a ton on brushes because I'd rather spend more on the makeup but I know good tools are important too I, I'm very torn about the brush thing is the bottom line I'm torn but I did pick up a MAC 242 this is what it looks like I know a lot of you know you know I'll be watching videos and they'll be like I use my MAC 242 my 128 my da -da -da -da. I don't even have to, I don't even know if 128 is a real number okay I don't know I'm just throwing something out there and my you know whatever 5003 and they just say it, and I know that a lot of you know what that is off the bat, but I'm just like, I don't know what that is. But uh, this is the 242, and it's for applying eye makeup, like uh, the pigments. And so I like that very much, and uh, I will get good use out of that. And I got a pigment, my second pigment. Very excited about it. I got Copper Sparkle, and it's coppery and it's sparkly. I know I'm seeing a theme too. Now that I'm going through it, I'm seeing a lot of copper, uh, but that, I like it and I think it'll be great for fall and there's different shades of copper. So, but there it is. And I actually wore this the night that we went out on the town. So, and I thought it was very pretty and bright and I actually spilled a ton of it in the bathtub because a little cup was sitting there, like the little thing thing was sitting there and it tipped over and then the whole bathtub had copper in it. So, uh, <laughs> As I was reapplying and touching up, I was dipping the brush in the bathtub part. The bathtub was clean, all right? Uh, so, I mean, it was all there. And last but not least, I was not even looking for an eyeliner. And Kristen's like, oh, you really, you gotta have this eyeliner. It's the best one in the world. And it's, it's my holy grail one. So I was like, okay, then I have to have it. And it's called Stubborn Brown. And it's uh, a brown eyeliner. Uh, Stubborn Brown? But it, it is a very, I will say this, it is very smooth in the application and it lasts, it's stubborn, it lasts, it sticks there. So I am really glad that I did end up getting this. So, all right, uh, Chicago Hall, part one, down. Um, the next one is going to be Dior, Burberry, and uh, other stuff, because I, I can't even think. Oh, also, it will be Henry Bendel because I went on a Henry Bendel bender. So, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and being patient. I appreciate you guys being here. Please feel free to comment and ask questions. I would love it if you would subscribe. If you want to come to chat with me on Twitter, that'd be great. But, uh, all right. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.